The LINK program, Learning Introspective Control, has the aspiration of being able to give mechanical systems the ability to suffer and then recover from damage or disruptions in an automated way without pre-learning. An example is you're driving a truck down a road. You have a blowout, it begins to fishtail. If you're a very skilled driver, you can get it back under control and get it safely to the side of the road. If you're driving a link adapted truck, it'll figure out, oh, things are wrong, adjust the steering and the braking where it feels like the truck has not been disturbed, but it's able to drive safely to the side of the road. Doing the same thing with ships and airplanes is part of the link program. We know that vehicles change during the course of a mission, and we saw one today that we didn't expect, and that was the failure of a, of a thruster and the thruster just stopped working because it happened to wear out at that particular moment in time. And part of the things we're exploring in this program is how we can detect that and how we can compensate for that. Next, we performed a scenario with two of these vessels simulating a subscale underway replenishment mission. In the scenario, there were multiple disturbances acting on the vessels. There were thruster failures, there were simulated interaction forces between the two vessels, and there was a deployable drag device, which was a bucket. When we tested the baseline controller, the system was unable to recover from all of those simultaneous disturbances. However, when we implemented the link controller, the system was able to recover very quickly and complete the mission successfully. There are two things that excite me the most. The fact that we can have systems that can recover and protect and save people, that essentially give expert skills to all operators and that can be creative and innovative in the way it finds solutions. The second one is it allows us to extend the operating life of systems, which means we don't have to manufacture as many things, we don't have as many things going to waste, and it can really drop the long-term carbon footprint of our systems. We'll have longer-lived, safer, more reliable systems, and that's what excites me.